Lonely Attack on the Different World, Web Novel, Chapter 99. Since she is a skeleton, both Steam San and Holy Light San seem to think that they don't have to do their job. Day 38, Midday, Amoy, Guild of Adventurers. Whoa, lad, can we really have this? For real? I'm gonna cry if this is just a joke. I'm not giving it back. Ah, I'll put spit on it. What a dirty old man this spear dude is. The old man is licking a spear. I don't think anyone would complain if I report him. It's a pervert. There are clear grounds for concern. Haruka-kun, is it really fine? We just wanted to repay the favor. We didn't even do anything in the end. Looks like the old sword man is not going to lick anything. The four girls ran off to the training ground as soon as they said their thanks for the weapons. I'm surrounded by nothing but old men again. I have never heard about being swarmed with old men after getting summoned to a different world. Cute girls ditched us for the training grounds. Is it about affection rating after all? No, I mean, didn't you spend three days looking for us in the dungeon? You went all the way to the 30th floor while we went back through the portal and 46th floor, leaving you behind? It's a consolation payment of sorts? Kind of? As soon as the old men heard the news, they made preparations and went to the rescue. Planning to group up with the president and the others, they descended to the 30th floor, where they received the news of our safe return to the town upon which they also turned back and finally reached the town just a short while ago. I feel a bit sorry for them, so I decided to give away some of the remaining weapons, but they made a big uproar out of it. If I include this stuff like harpoons from the frogs, then I still have close to 500 weapons left. Even after disposing of the useless inventory, I still have plenty left. I'm holding on to weapons from minotaurs, so they ended up with the weapons from the puppets or lizards, but everyone is overjoyed anyway. Thanks to the dangers of this town, they don't have proper equipment here, aside from clubs. The town is overflowing with them. It's overflowing, but is it really okay? I just saw housewives chatting in front of the green grocer, all equipped with clubs. I overheard them saying that they will club their husbands if they dare to cheat. Isn't this town more dangerous than the forest? It seems some monsters still remain in the dungeon even after its death, with a few still possible to be found on 46th floor and up. Will I be able to handle monsters from the 31st floor and further? Not for sure, but after I finish adjusting to my new skills, it might be a good idea to check it out. But for the time being, I will stick to practicing and then start from gobs. I mean, I'm pretty sure I will be tripping over myself and clashing into monsters again. The local lord, Maddie's father, also seemed to have sent troops, so I'll donate a set of harpoons from the frogs to him. I'll just pass them with a message through the old man leading the guild. I already have the receptionist ladies bribed with fruitcakes for that. With this, I don't owe them anything. Falling into pitfalls is a pain, but getting out is also a pain. I don't want to do that again. I'm gonna go home now. Wanna come? It's inside a forest, though. Or more like a cave? Well, in a forest? I asked Armored Prez San, to which she responded by nodding. Looks like she is coming as well. Gob sweeping should go really well. I should be able to sell a lot of mushrooms, so there is no harm in gathering extra. I'm sure there are even more of them now. My classmates are still lying around with X marks for the eyes, so let's leave them be. Must be the result of getting beaten up, but normally getting trained and beaten by a dungeon emperor is extremely rare and valuable experience. I'm getting beaten all the time, though? Without hesitation? Is it even possible for the tamed person to attack their master and beat them? I came back to the woods, but there are only a few gobs and kobolds. Their levels are also somewhat down, but mushrooms are plenty. Their quantity is massive. The general store lady's addiction is about to get even worse. Somehow the forest seems brighter. It probably won't be much of a training, but let's hunt them. Wait. Everything is already hunted down? 
at least leave some monsters for me to practice. I want to spar with gobs. As one might expect, I don't want to get beaten up every day. Flying through the woods like the wind, she erases gobs. Looks like all my spar partners were eliminated. Well, I guess I can't avoid getting beaten up. We reached the cave, but the sun is already setting. It's better if we spend the night here and head back. And there is still cleaning to do, both in terms of rooms and gobs. Before it gets dark, we sweep the depth of the forest, and after we get back, sweep the house. Armored Prez San is surveying the rooms with curiosity. Perhaps the modern furniture looks that unusual? Or perhaps she is considering turning the place into a dungeon? Well, even if she does, I will still remodel it. Now, the forest depths in question, as I thought, the monsters also became weaker. And the monster insufficiency also seems to be more severe here. It even seems that without cultivation they might go completely extinct. Well, not like I'm going to do that. At most, goblin leaders would pop out from time to time, but the king's game boom seems to have completely passed. That's great. No, training-wise, it's not great at all. I mean, if I don't rush, everything gets obliterated before I get to do anything? A moment of hesitation and I don't have anything to kill? This is a competition at this point. First come, first served. Speaking of serving, I'm sure Armored Prez San would have easily dominated the bargain sale if she tried. She probably would have been inaugurated as Bargain Emperor. We didn't find a king even in the deepest part of the forest. Let's gather mushrooms and go back. The night is about to fall. Let's continue tomorrow by farming kobolds and then going upstream to hunt weak monsters. Clubs are piling up again, but I wonder just why are they selling so well? Shrooms are way more numerous than before, though. As I thought, with goblin deficiency in this forest, more mushrooms get left untouched. Tons of health and mana mushrooms, but no potent mushrooms, it seems. Well, that's to be expected. Roasted, potent mushrooms with soy sauce were delicious, and now that I have rice, I had some hopes. But they are not such an easy find, even with an epic luck. Going back to the cave, I begin cleaning. Since I'm going to use magic for this, it won't take long, but since I wasn't home for quite a while, I take time to diligently clean everything. I last stayed here when I was waiting for whatever coon, so I was absent for about ten days. Is it really fine? As a hikakomori? My hikakomori is already level eight, but I'm not getting to hikakomori at all. All clean. I'm back. My home sweet home. It's been a while, even though it's my home. Even though by now the trip doesn't even take me a day. That's right, my travel speed has risen so much that I can make a round trip in a day, in part because movement turned into teleportation, but being too scared I'm yet to actually try using teleportation magic for actual travel. Until now, my skills never gave me an easy time. Even though the different world is all about skills and magic, what is a person who can't trust his skills supposed to do? But it seems teleportation is, after all, an evolved form of movement magic, so even without actually teleporting, my speed is greatly increased. Walking also turned into swift foot, making me even faster. How should I put it? It's like the distance is shrinking on its own. As I move, it is accompanied by a strange feeling as if the space around me is bending. I'd like to at least get the hang of it while we are in the forest, but since a moment of carelessness means that all of my sparring partners, monsters, will be annihilated, I can't take it slowly. It's a super live combat practice. I already crashed into goblins more than ten times. I almost had my first kiss with one. Of course I beat it to death. That alone I absolutely cannot allow as a high school boy. I cleaned the bath too, and while at it, also filled it with hot water. It's a jacuzzi. There won't be any bubble jets unless someone sends wind inside through wind magic, but it's still a jacuzzi. It must be the only one in this world. Wanna take a bath? 
You can go first. It's a jacuzzi, you know, with jets, streams. It's a jet stream attack jacuzzi. Unfortunately, it seemed that Armored Prez-san is not a Gundam Mataku. She is also fine with taking a bath later, so it's a lonely jet stream attack in the bath. It's just a bubble bath, but it's a GSA attack anyway. GSA. GSA. <sighs> a bath after getting beaten up feels exceptional. Something is spreading throughout my body, probably regeneration at work, returning to life, quite literally. Speaking of which, turning into a higher rank, HP recovery didn't become super HP recovery or anything. It went straight for regeneration. Did it just give up on recovery? Isn't regeneration normally a monster skill? Can humans even regenerate? Should they? Am I going to be all right? Hmm? With my detect presence, I sensed that outside, Armored prez San began taking off her armor. She couldn't wait for the bath anymore? Or maybe she began preparing in advance, since removing the armor takes a while. She is a skeleton. During the first appearance, I saw her all nude, complete bare bones. But since I now know that she is a girl, entering the bath together might be an issue? Well, those are just bones. I wouldn't mind helping her wash them. I'm getting out. Do you care to wait for some little bit? Kind of? Just a short whoa! Eh? No, 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 no. According to Detect Presence, it is Armored Prez San that just entered the bath. Is it that I will scrub your back kind of thing? Is she trying to do something servant-like since she is tamed by me, or something like that? Thinking hard, I'm not thinking at all. The supreme thinking type of thinking apex thinking has completely stopped. Just what is this, 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 who? Long, slender legs, a pair of well-toned, long, beautiful legs enter the room. The front is covered with the towel that she is holding, but she is completely defenseless from behind. Whoa, her hips are so high, her legs are way too long. It's like her super high hips immediately continue into the slim waist. The Anglo-Saxon or maybe Latin or porcelain-like pure white skin is dazzling to the eyes. Wait, just who is that? Who is this peerless beauty? Or rather, where did Armored Prez San go? They keep calling me crazy for a while, but did it finally happen? Did I really go crazy now? She is gazing at me with her big eyes. Ah, a downturned eyes is looking very cute. Eh? Oh, her eyelashes are so long, her nose is high. Such well-defined features. Who is this pretty girl? This is a world full of handsome men and beautiful women of western type, but she is far beyond even that. Creme de la creme. Not once in my whole life have I ever seen such a beauty, even among models and actresses. So Fair, bewitching, lovely, charming, pretty. Eh? Um, armored, or rather bony, or, or, or rather dungeon emperor, or rather battering prez? No, are you, uh, 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 uh Angelica-san? This lovely appearance, this dignified bearing, this standing figure, worthy of being called too beautiful, is none other than that of armored prez-san, Angelica-san? Huh? Wasn't she just bones? Bones? She nods in a familiar way. Two round objects below her face also nod in unison. They are big. And she is smiling at me with a smile that seems capable of illuminating the world. But she was just a skeleton. Her race on that status page? No, she became raceless later? Eh? Actually, she is not even covering her front anymore. This is a risky danger for a high school boy. I can see a lot of things. Steam Son and Holy Light Son are both slacking off. This is Red Zone. Eh? Wuh? Too late? The next morning. Yesterday I got thoroughly washed and cleaned every inch of my body. I returned the favor in some fashion, going over every nook and cranny of hers. After which a good night. Over and over again. In a high school boy sort of way. Finally I zoomed up the stairs of adulthood in a high school boy sort of way. She is a monster. No, this is totally fine by me. Rather, I'm pretty sure I will never see anyone more beautiful than her. The only thing that bothers me, is it really all right to be doing this with someone I subdued through taming? Isn't it kind of too late, though? 
Well, she seems to be smiling with a very blissful look, so I guess it's fine. Is it? Is it really? In the end, though I kept endlessly yapping that the faraway labyrinth has no monster girls, turns out one was with me all along. <laughs>